legendary Notre Dame head coach Lou Holtz joins us live in studio. <laughs> coach, thanks for coming in. Well, thank you for having me. Okay, so I have to ask him, I'm pretty amazed you've coached a zillion games, but you remember November 30th, 1991 coming into Aloha Stadium, right? Oh, what? very, very vividly. Uh, we jumped up on you pretty good, and I think Paul Johnson was your offense coordinator. You ran the triple option, and oh, we had you under control. And the next thing you know, you changed quarterbacks, yeah. and he started scrambling, <laughs> and uh, we fought for our lives. We end up winning the game by I think maybe seven points or yeah. something. Like. And then we go beat Florida in the Sugar Bowl. So How do you just remember crazy. all this? Well, I, I, I always remember the difficult game, but that I had great respect for Hawaii. As I told the team the other day, Hawaii played physical they've always been tough they've always been competitive yeah 48 42 by the way was the final score you had rick meyer jerome bettis ricky waters i think we had uh, Ma Tanuvasa, michael <laughs> carter travis we're, we're, you know a lot of a lot of people grow up they root for their local team but because notre dame is of course on, on national tv you get a lot of national notre dame fans right well naturally you do but also we've had some outstanding athletes come here uh, reggie ho was our place kicker he's yes. now a doctor <laughs> uh manti teo what he has done yeah. uh, prince of valley brothers played for me uh stefan the kicker uh, we, we just had so many of them, and Jason Ching was one of the most highly recruited yep. athletes in the country. So we've always had great success with the athletes from Hawaii. Yeah, so you did meet with the team. What, what did you tell them, the, the current team, the, the Rainbow Warriors this year? Well, we did a little magic for them. We visited, but the main thing that we tried to share with them is that you have to ask these questions. You want to win, what sacrifice are you willing to make? What mm -hmm. skills and talents do you have to acquire in order to do it? Uh, who are you going to have to work with to get it done? But here's the other thing. If you took the roster yeah. of Hawaii and compared it with the roster of California, well, maybe not Michigan, but Arizona, you had three or first four, there's not that much difference. It's all in the mental thing. It's fundamental. And are you willing to accept your role? But I was very impressed with their attitude. And yeah. then I had lunch with June Jones the other day. He did such a great job. He won here. They can win here. Yeah. Okay, so how hated are you in certain parts of the country? Like, can you walk around Ann Arbor, Michigan and not get heckled? Or, or Southern California? I mean, no. somebody's going to come up to you, right? No, I, I, I tell you what, and they do. Uh, I, I can't even go home and not get heckled. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been married 55 years, but, uh, <laughs> you know, if somebody from Southern Cal says, I went to Southern Cal, I'll say, oh, interpretation, you couldn't get into Notre Dame. Oh. They'd say, I, I played there, and they'd say, well, I appreciate everything you did for a one loss record there. But it, it, it was just great rivalry. So one thing we always had great respect for the opposition. Yeah. Okay, best, I guess, either pre-game or halftime pep talk that you've given your, your players. Can you remember that? Well, we all had one common goal that saved my job. They <laughs> <laughs> all brought us together. I, I think it was probably before Miami. Uh, we had a little escapade in the, in the tunnel before, and I was mad, I was upset, and said, if anybody does anything but show class, and you'll never play again at Notre Dame. Now, if they want to fight after the game in the parking lot that's fine if they do you save their coach for me you yeah. know and, and that was just that was the motive that was a catholic convict game and i didn't like that yeah. because not all our team was catholic yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> those are the famous uh, miami u uh, players oh, they, uh, michael uh, irvin and uh, warren oh, Sapp we had and so great that's game. well documented too yeah. right. coach what are you doing now you you left espn right well I, my birthday candles cost more than a cake now yeah. i've I'm going to be 80 <laughs> on my next birthday, and I, I just owed it to my wife. I, TV, you just talk to you, think of something to say, but I, I do uh, XM radio now because it forces you to use your mind, and that's the one thing. That's cause I, plus, I don't have to leave home. They set the studio up at my home. I do the show. 20 seconds later, I'm on the golf course. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's better dad. By the way, the mind is still sharp as a tack. Real, real quick, you, you mentioned that you, you met with June Jones. What did you think of Coach Rolovich? Uh, I was very impressed with him. Uh, you know, and, and I, I hope he'll give me a call. I have a lot of coaches will call me and, you know, for advice, et cetera. I, I'll go visit uh, Texas next week, visit Ohio State, et cetera. But he's he very impressive. Uh, he, he understands why he probably quarterback here. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. I think he would do an excellent job. I, all I can evaluate is the attitude of the players in that room was tremendous. Yeah, they're responding well to him. Yes, they are. Yeah. 
Coach, it has been an absolute <laughs> privilege to talk to you, Coach, this morning. Thank you very much. We Thank you for having me. Lou Holtz. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. You're watching Sunrise on Hawaii News Now.